here is the much awaited shop reveal so we finally can start uh moving stuff down in here they had the oh uh, they had like an auction and stuff last saturday and they got pretty much everything it's got a bunch of scrap metal and mostly junk and even got an f-150 here so uh i think they still have everyone whoever bought the stuff still got one more week to come get things but this was a company that actually used to work on and rebuild like semi trailers like box trailers and reefer trailers and such like that so uh last week this was just completely full of semi trailers but they got them all out of there so like i said now we can start moving stuff in uh dad's got the roller and the back over here i'm dropping the 2150 off uh, it does come with its own little mobile mansion so the floor is about out of that thing i think so we're going to try to uh, i may put it on market but i was just going to tear it down but i mean there may be somebody out there that can refurbish it or use it so we're going to get rid of that trailer uh it's got a huge parking lot out here i mean like i said all the employees and stuff used to park out here which for us i mean it'll work it's just kind of a lot of wasted space to me right now but it's on four acres i think three and a half of it's fenced in and then there's a half acre spot right outside there but i mean you can see we got a huge front area here that i mean we i don't know may or may not do anything with uh big double gates here and on the other side of that connex box is another double gate so you can actually drive completely around uh the building is not anything super nice so that's uh which i'm you know fine we've got some work to do to the roof it's got some cosmetic damage and stuff like that but the part that i'm excited about is and we'll go inside in a minute there's uh two drive-through bays here you can actually fit two semis with trailers back to back in each stall so i can get four semis and trailers there and then i think you can just do one through here because this one's got like a it's like a second story like a parts room or something like that that you put in there but we got a lot of work to do we've got a lot of work on the uh, fence to fix up and kind of clean up and you can tell a lot of uh, grading and parking lot work here to do and then yeah i don't know how much of this stuff if they don't come back or you know no one else comes and picks anything else up we're just gonna get a dumpster for the scrap yard because most of it's metal we got some tires i think i think somebody is coming after those i think that was part of the deal they're gonna take those the connex box is staying and there may be one more over here but we'll just kind of walk around the outside i think something may have caught on fire <laughs> right there up against the metal like i said it's nothing you know cosmetically super nice but it's got potential i just like the amount of room that comes with it so once we get all this junk cleaned up and regraded we have all kinds of room for trucks trailers and expansion there's a bunch of metal here so yeah lots of room in the parking lot but I'm also going to bring in a lot of base rock because you can tell it's not been rocked and graded for a long, long time. <laughs> and then there's the other gate. And then right outside of there, we actually own right over to the highway. That sign is on our property. And I think we actually get like $2,000 a year for them to park that sign there. So it's a little bit of something. Uh, yeah, that's the only, there's only one drive through on this building right here. But there's the other doors where you can drive through there. The part that I did make him keep in the deal was uh, this air compressor. I actually put a new motor on it, but the whole building is plumbed. Uh, to run, you can run a one inch impact, and then I guess those other ones are half inch, but there's plumbing and stuff all through there. So that was one thing I wanted to definitely uh, keep. I think that's like a three phase uh, gener or air compressor there. So we'll kind of make our way back around and we'll look at the inside real quick. Well, and here's the inside. I can't find the other light switches so far <laughs> to get these middle and far in. But yeah, this is the uh, main, the big building where you can pull the trucks and stuff in. So I think me and dad are going to have plenty of room. The plan is just to get it where we can either maybe park some of the machines in the middle, but try to keep it where we can each have our own bay and kind of pull through. But yeah, they're 16, 16 foot doors, I think. So but you can tell i mean it's this one was built in the late 70s 
and that's where it hooks into the other building so you can tell we have some leaks in the roof so then it's damaged some of the boards so i think we're going to rip a lot of that off and put new sheeting up and then we're actually I mean, fix the roof of course but yeah and then that pipe on the wall if you can tell it's really dark but that's where it's all the air compressors plumbed into so you got all your hookups and stuff right here like i said it's not super fancy but it definitely has potential and it's a lot bigger than our other place Let's see if i can find some lights yeah and then this building's one that kind of converted we got the uh, bathroom which i think we're just going to <laughs> completely gut and redo and then they built this little area because like i said it had all kinds of parts and inventory and such like that so but then we do have a, a bay where we can drive through here which this is maybe where some of the machines will stay that we can just kind of get in and i probably i'm maybe even going to bring the uh international leave it in here where i can pull it in and out uh or back and forth whether we're going to keep all of this because it yeah there's like a little desk and an office in there <laughs> You probably can't see anything in here, but yeah, you can tell it's got a little ceiling. It does have the door right there, so we could potentially take this out and pull something else in. We may, I know we're going to probably keep this workbench and put all of our, like, toolboxes and such like that in here. But I don't know if we're going to keep all the upstairs or not. I mean, it is handy if you're wanting to store stuff but i don't know if we have this much junk where we need to or not yeah, i've got a few microwaves so that's handy yeah so i mean we have lots of storage which is nice but and this building was added on it's red iron and the one the bigger one's all a wooden structure and frame like i said it's nothing super nice but to me it definitely does have potential i'm not huge i mean i don't really need like a brand new looking building from the outside i mean it's <laughs> pretty ragged in some places but like i said we'll probably put a new toilet and sink in there i'll just keep that as like a bathroom i like that has the fridge there this one may stay because it'd be kind of nice to have a desk i don't know but then i do like how like the uh the bench in there and some shelving stuff for hand tools but definitely excited about the space and that's what i was also going to point out you can tell i'm sure with it raining last night you can pretty much see where all the water uh, we had a roofer come and look at it. They're going to actually, a lot of it is, it's been up there for years, the metal roof, but they, uh, uh, like the screws lost the washers and some of that, but like they did a real kind of poor job where they hooked the two together. So the water actually runs in between the two buildings instead of shooting off that one and runs down there. So we got quite a bit to do on taking the metal up and replacing some of that and replacing some of the boards on the roof. And then we're going to put, like I said, new plywood and stuff up on the walls but i can definitely see the potential in it like i said i like the acreage that it's got you know with four acres and being able to drive through so and it's ours we're not renting it or anything like that so this will probably be my forever shop i'm sure with the room so it'll just be uh little projects here and there and over the winter time just trying to spruce this thing up so let's get the 2150 unloaded and pull it in the shop uh yeah i think we're gonna have plenty of room so, <laughs> the 2150 almost looks small in here so this is gonna be awesome once we get, get this thing cleaned up and start using it but i think dad's gonna pull his truck and trailer in here tonight i'm gonna have mine get serviced tomorrow i would but yeah be looking for some uh, upcoming videos on the new shop so we'll do I may not do all of them of the repair, but I'll definitely do some filming, regrading, and uh, getting the parking lot cleaned up. That's more work related than, you know, putting up the lumber and stuff like that. But yeah, this will be the new Elite Earthworks home here for all of our stuff. So yeah, I think he's getting pulled around so he can pull in here. So definitely exciting. Like I said, it's uh, needs some TLC, but. I'm very happy to have the room and it does have heat. It's got the big gas furnaces and stuff like that in here, so which will be really nice in the wintertime. We should be able to get a lot of work done in here. Yeah, and the 16 foot doors are nice because uh, 
which is good to know when I put the stacks on the peat I'll have plenty of room but yeah this is gonna be sweet right here so we can just leave stuff loaded up and just pull on through <laughs> got all kinds of room this is crazy very exciting <laughs> <laughs> 